amazing. Uh, listen, I'm like, Debbie Allen's going to be there. Let me be as spectacular as I possibly can. How are you tonight? I'm great. What does it mean to you to come out tonight and support Tyler Perry in the documentary about his life, Maxine's Baby? I think Tyler Perry is one of the most dynamic and influential people in our industry today. And his story is a story that is that belongs to all of us. His story is our story. So I'm excited that they're doing this profile on him and now I'm gonna put my little talk show out. I did an interview with him a few months ago. It's really nice, very intimate. I can't wait. Listen, I saw you on Hoda, I think, Hoda and Jenny yeah, yeah, with yeah. Jada. I yeah. love how you continue to support her and yeah. undergird her. Yeah. Because the press can be quite brutal. I'm almost embarrassed to be a part of it sometimes, but we have the you know, the positive aspects of it, you know, being a gatekeeper, and that's what you've been. Yeah. Lydia Grant. Lydia Grant, Miss Fame, always. <laughs> Me and my family used to sit around and watch Fame. Know, right? Did you ever imagine that Fame would lead to you becoming this icon that you are in the culture? Well, I never thought about icon, but I thought that it would lead me to the good work that I'm doing because it was on Fame that I developed as a director. I was already a choreographer when I got there, but then I became a director and I was already an actress. It just kind of helped me blossom, let's put it that way. And um, icon is still not something, I know people say that, but I feel like I'm still, uh, you know, a work in progress. You know, because you're a lifelong learner. Yes, I am. You are a lifelong learner. Let's just talk about the power and the sustainability of historical black colleges and university. I'm a graduate of Chain University of Pennsylvania. Yeah. Ed Bradley went there. It's the oldest HBCU founded in 1837. And I just got to tell you, the work that you did on a different world, different world. Yes. sent so many Gen Xers sent us to HBCUs. How does that make you feel? I am so proud of the work that we did on A Different World, those incredible writers, Susan Fales, I love Susan. Uh, Gina Prince, Bythewood, Reggie Bythewood, oh, Yvonne, wow. uh, uh, Yvonne uh, Yvette that, Lee yeah. Bowser, uh, there's so many wonderful people came out of that. Lena Waithe was actually so close by. And wow. um, anyway, the wonderful characters that we portrayed, we really gave a good uh, sense of what our young black people are like they're so different and unique and all together they make it a very interesting story and it was you great saw the talent yes I you did. saw it and snashed I it into it. it I know <laughs> thank you thank you yeah. so much for all you do